Are you a Poshmark seller, but maybe you're not getting the sales that you thought you would? I get it, I've been there. And the chances you're probably overlooking at least one of these things. So in this video, we're gonna cover several things to keep in mind to make sure that your Poshmark sales are maximized. Checking off all these boxes will ensure that your Poshmark game is as strong as possible. First and foremost, you wanna price high and then make discounted offers to likers to drive sales. Now this simulates urgency because of the timed offer and it also increases perceived value of buying it now. It sounds simple, but to this date, it has been my best strategy to get sales and still works extremely well. Secondly, when someone does make you an offer, you can then decline it and raise your price. For whatever reason, it doesn't notify the potential buyer that makes the offer that the price has changed, nor does it say it on the offer page. So when you do this and they come back to take a look at the offer they made and why it got declined, they'll think they might have lowballed you and then they'll offer you more. I'd say this probably works around a third of the time and ends up with you getting a higher offer and ultimately ultimately more money in your pocket. Third is share as much as you can. So for example, sharing from your closet actively puts those items in the feed of the people that follow you. And sharing from parties brings new eyes to your closet and more attention on your items because ultimately Poshmark is kind of like a share for share culture. So when you share their item, most people will come back to your closet and share yours. And that also just brings more numbers to your closet overall. And therefore the probability that you'll make more sales increases based solely on simple math. Not only that, that, but the most important reason you want to share constantly is Poshmark will rank the items that you share higher in search. Put simply, if you just shared an item, it'll have much more visibility than if you didn't. And that ties me into the next point, which is you need sharing software. In order to get sales, you'll need to spend all day sharing. And if you're doing it manually, nobody wants to do that. And if you're not using sharing software, you're basically competing with one hand tied behind your back against other people that definitely are. And you're going to struggle to get sales, I promise you. There are many out there that work and I've been approached by several of them, but honestly, in my opinion, Simple Posture is still the best one for most people. You get the most bang for your buck because it's only about $10 a month. It does everything you pretty much need it to do and you don't need to pay hundreds of dollars for fancy software that does things that won't make that much of a difference overall. There's still no affiliate program for them and they've still never paid me a dime to recommend them, but honestly, it's still what I use to this day and it's honestly what I recommend for 99% of Poshmark sellers. I've done several videos on how to use this software effectively. So if you want to learn how, just check out the Poshmark playlist on this channel. Fifth is understanding trends and market timing. So what I mean by that is understand what to list and when. For example, if it's getting warmer out, it's probably time to start listing more things that fit warm weather, like clutch purses or light dresses or shorts or coolers, for example. If it's approaching fall or winter, then maybe it's time to look into listing hats or winter coats or scarves. Obviously, those are easy examples, but hopefully that starts to get you thinking in the right direction. But if you're listing winter coats in the summer, you're going to struggle to make sales. So just have at least some pulse on what to list and when, and you'll sell a lot more organically. Finally, you should think about starting to drop ship. If you're reselling products on Poshmark, that's great, but ultimately you're handicapped by how much inventory you have and how good it is. Plus, you'll have to front all the money to purchase it and store it all as well. And drop shipping is such a better business business model to at least implement in conjunction with your current inventory. You won't have to front any of the money for the inventory. You won't have to have enough space to store it all. And you can just list whatever products you already know are selling well on other platforms. And that will give you a higher likelihood to make more sales. And if you're under the impression that you can't drop ship on Poshmark, you certainly can if you do it correctly. And I did an entire video on how I've been doing it for the last two years, roughly successfully on the platform with just drop shipping alone. That video is up on the screen right now if you want to check it out. So use this video as a checklist if you want and try to make sure that you're doing all these things consistently and I'm willing to bet your sales will start trending upward.